Jackie, because this is going to be all about you guys getting to ask those burning questions that you have. For those of you that haven't met me, I'm Rebecca Walker. I own Cambiati Wellness. And at Cambiati Wellness, we are a team of nutritionists and dietitians. And we help people bring their bodies back to health using food, vitamins, and herbs therapeutically. We are also the top rated nutritionist on Yelp. So when you refer us, keep this in mind. It's a great point of reference for people to understand why they should come see us instead of someone else that might be doing the same type of practice. So how many of you guys have questions that if you knew the answer, it might help you refer us better? Lots of questions? Oh, all right, perfect. So, um, Risa, would you like to kick us off with a question? What types of health challenges can you help my friends with? Well, Risa, thank you so much for that totally unsolicited response, but I have to have a <laughs> We work with clients all the way from the client that needs to lose weight and has some common things going on, maybe it's high cholesterol, blood pressure concerns, or blood sugar balance issues, all the way to the client where they've been to doctors and they can't figure out what's going on. We also work with clients that have complex things like autoimmune disorders happening. And we are masters with helping people who are struggling with their digestive issues. So what other questions can I answer from the audience? Yeah, please. This one's really spontaneous. Um, I know a lot of people doing the keto diet and I'm a skeptical person by nature. What is your opinion? My opinion is that you need to match the appropriate diet to the appropriate person. So keto for most people would be contraindicated, but there is a very, very small subset of the population where it is actually well applied. And we would want to talk to the person. So I try to match the appropriate plan to the appropriate person. So that means if someone wants to be keto, I can support them. I'll help tell them whether I think it's the right fit for them or not. If they want to learn about intermittent fasting, I can help them understand that. If they want to understand paleo or other programs that are out there, we can help make sure that it's the right fit for them. And then we can make the recommendations as well. So we are experts in understanding a variety of different things and applying it for the appropriate person. So thank you, great question. Yeah, Karen. Yeah, um, what testing do you do? What does it cost? And do you have to do all of it? Or sometimes some parts more appropriate? Or is it like an all or nothing thing? Exactly what's the cost. Yeah, so it really depends. Testing is going to range all the way from around $200 and up. And that can range all the way up to, you know, $1,400. It depends on the test. And normally we pick individual tests. So one of the things I do, when you refer me, I sit down with that person and I'll sit down with them for a long time, about 45 minutes to get to know what's going on. And in that time, I'll be asking questions so that I can then identify what the appropriate test is going to be for them. And typically it may be multiple tests and I may pull from different companies. So I may be pulling, for example, a micronutrient test, and I may also be sending someone with a gut microbiome test that helps them see what's going on in their gut. And that is appropriate for certain people, whereas other people, we might do a food intolerance test. So until I talk to the person, I don't know what the right thing is. And it is important to talk to us because I had a call yesterday with someone who wanted to do a food intolerance test. And I said, none of your symptoms are leading me down the path to recommend a food intolerance test. And um, I explained to them, I don't think that you actually need that test. I think you're better off doing just this group program, which is one less expensive and better matched towards your goals. So that's my job is to help people figure that out and then we'll come up with pricing from there. Yeah. Anyone else? Yeah. Adam. Who's not a good referral for <laughs> um, Someone who's not a good referral is someone who doesn't want to actually make changes. So someone who wants to just throw money at a problem and make it happen. Um, <laughs> or the person that wants to just have, you know, shots or take some supplement and think that it's magically going to fix all of their issues, that's not a great referral for us. Yeah. Yeah, Rhoda. Can you help people be attracted to healthy people and not be attracted to Trina Swordlow can help us with that front. So she actually does some really interesting work on that. And yes, we can. Um, we also are going to help balance neurotransmitters. We're going to help get rid of sugar cravings by balancing neurotransmitters and also helping 
fill in some of the gaps or in that are in their nutrients. And then sugar cravings and carb cravings can fall away in a different way. That takes some time. And I know, I am a recovered sugar addict. I used to start my mornings with cookies. Um, if you have them with tea, you can call them breakfast cookies. Um, so <laughs> one of the things that can also help is working with a practitioner like Trina Swordlow, who can actually work on um, areas of the brain in a totally different way than we do. Yeah, Leslie. What's a good um, way for someone to get started with you? What kind of programs do you offer for someone who's maybe never been in your space before or doesn't know where to start? Well, I would definitely recommend that they sit down for a complimentary breakthrough session because then we can figure out what the right fit is. But a starting point for a lot of our clients is our 28-day program. It's an eating cleanse. So sometimes freak out, people freak out when they hear cleanse because they think like, juice cleanse? Am I going to be eating? Am I going to be on the bathroom the whole time? Um, and actually, that's not the way this is. We're really helping people use food to bring their bodies back to health. So they're eating the whole time. They should be full the whole time on the program. If not, something's gone wrong. That's actually a signal that we've balanced hunger hormones, which balance other hormones in the body. Um, so that's a great place to start. It's a five-week program. It's a group program, and we get fantastic results on it. We have a 100% success rate at changing body composition in that program for people who attend class one and class five after we studied two years of our data. Yeah, Eden. Are your plans all or nothing, or do you make modifications to work with people for busy lifestyles or any of us who don't want to give up wine, but do want to make up You, It's up to you. Yeah, well, definitely for pregnant people, there are some very specific things we do, pregnant or also breastfeeding. And then we definitely can make modifications for people. Now, for some of those modifications, we may have a conversation with them about, let's see how that impacts your results. Our job is not to beat you up or make you feel guilty for the choices you made. Our job is to show you the data and information about how that impacted your body. And then you get to make whatever choice you want. So we can help people make modifications and we can also tell them whether we think that's gonna be effective for reaching the goal that they have or not. Yeah, Jeff. So uh, now I know the answer to this, so maybe to explain to other people because I've seen it in the program. But uh, there's a lot of different programs out there. Like why is yours better than yours? Well, one, our success rate is significantly better. Two, um, we actually get three times better fat mass loss results than medically supervised program, Weight Watchers, or programs like the Atkins diet. And you're also doing it in a much healthier way. So we focus on bringing the body back to health. And when you do that, that's where you drop the fat. So that's why we get more success with fat loss and why our clients typically are more successful at retaining it. Also, I think there's an element of we're actually teaching people how to do it for themselves rather than just having someone follow a meal plan and not know why they're following that. So, yeah. Yeah, go ahead, Cynthia. What are you doing about people who have already attended all the classes and all the things and just kick them out and say, go for it? Yeah, get out. <laughs> no, we absolutely have developed special programs for those people, and thank you so much for that, Cynthia. And I'm Rebecca Walker with Cambiati Wellness.